The top quality modulo and decor product lines are designed for the handyman and are manufactured by Permacon, the largest manufacturer of concrete products for the landscaping and masonry industry. These video clips will explain the easy steps to completing your own landscaping project. Your walls, pathways, patios and sitting areas will be a showcase for your practical skills and a personal reflection of your creativity and aesthetic taste. We appreciate your interest and thank you for your confidence. To begin your project, make a diagram of the outline of your yard. Carefully measure your land. Using graph paper, write down the measurements and indicate the main features such as house, trees, windows, doors, etc. To select your product, visit our website permacon.ca. Click on the Do It Yourself section. Select the Permacon Modulo or Decor product lines. You will get a list of products, participating merchants and a lot more useful information. To calculate the quantities needed for your project, click the Information tab and the Project Calculator. Before starting work, check if there are any pipes or underground cables in the area to be excavated. You may obtain information from Info Excavation at www.info-ex.com for Quebec residents. For Ontario residents, visit www.on1call.com. To calculate the amount of granular materials needed such as 0 3 quarter crushed stone, stone dust and polymeric sand, consult our do-it-yourself projects guide available at permacon.ca or the catalog which is available at your local home improvement center. Before starting your project, obtain the following items at your renovation center. Shovel, rake, safety glasses, stakes, string, gloves, measuring tape, spirit level, line level, cold chisel, small sledgehammer, concrete adhesive, geotextile, mechanical tamper, concrete saw, aerosol marker, perforated drainage pipe. The mechanical tamper and concrete saw are available in tool rental locations. Consider the alignment of your project, meaning that its surface will be parallel to a building or a fixed structure that becomes your point of reference. To begin, mark out the area to be excavated with stakes and string. You can indicate various key points on the ground with an aerosol marker. Determine the level of your wall from the lowest point. Dig a trench at least 12 inches deep by 24 inches wide. Here's a tip. Keep the excavated soil handy. It will be used later for filling the planting tray. To check that the depth of the trench is uniform, use the stakes and attach a string in a level manner. Stretch the string tight and check along several points to make sure that the whole trench is at the same depth. These are the foundation detail procedures of your wall. You have already dug 12 inches down. Fill 10 inches of 0 3 quarter crushed stone which after compacting will reduce to 9 inches. Fill half an inch of stone dust. The first row of modules will be half buried. Fill the trench with 10 inches of 0 3 quarter crushed stone. Level it with a rake. To facilitate compaction, you can hose down the surface. Use the mechanical tamper to compact the entire surface. Overlap the strokes of the tamper. To check that the foundation is uniform, use the stakes and attach a string in a level manner. Stretch the string tight and check along several points to make sure that the whole foundation is at the same depth. Stone dust is a fine dust on which the wall blocks are placed directly. It facilitates the leveling of the wall blocks. Spread half an inch of stone dust on top of the compacted foundation. Check the final level with a spirit level. For the first row only, if necessary, remove the lip on the rear of the block with a small sledgehammer. This step will assist in leveling the blocks. Prepare a number of blocks in advance. We strongly recommend that you wear safety glasses for this step. Pull a string to align the blocks in the first row. Install the first row of blocks starting with a corner. Check levels in both directions from front to rear and left to right. Remove or add stone dust to adjust the level. You can also adjust the level by lightly tapping the surface of the block with a small sledgehammer. Check the level from block to block. 
To start the second row, cut a block in half to make a half block. Draw a line around the block. Strike that line. Finish the cut by striking firmly on the visible face of the block. You can also make the cut with a concrete saw. We strongly recommend that you wear safety glasses for this step. Next, install a second and third row of blocks, making sure that the rear lip, if there is one, rests firmly on the block on the row underneath. If the block has no rear lip, you should position the block by aligning the front faces. Alternate the position of the blocks to offset the joints. Check that the blocks are level. Never install blocks in a column. You must always overlap the joints. To ensure that the wall is solid, you can glue each block with concrete adhesive. When the wall is completed, install a perforated drainage pipe behind the wall and connect it to the existing drainage system. Fill the space behind the wall with 3 quarter inch clean stone and install a geotextile. This will prevent garden soil from contaminating the clean stone. The back of the wall can now be filled with dirt or topsoil. For certain types of walls, capping is necessary. If this is the case, all capping modules must be glued with concrete adhesive. Slide the capping module forward so that it overhangs from the face of the wall by about one inch. Your wall is now ready for you to install your choice of plants. Permacon thanks you for choosing our products. Visit our website at permacon.ca to discover the full range of our products.